News from News 8. Good afternoon. Breaking here at noon, police still searching for the suspect in Monday's double homicide in Sodus. All they've said so far is the suspect was wearing a dark sweatshirt with a green hat. Earlier this morning, the victims were identified. 28-year-old Joshua Niles and 24-year-old Amber Washburn. Both lived at that home on Carlton Street where the bodies were discovered. Jeannie McBride is live in Sodus with the latest on the search and neighbor reaction as well. Jeannie? The neighborhood here is pretty shaken up. Now, if you want to take a closer look here behind me, you can see there's still yellow caution tape. A sheriff's deputy is still here, but earlier there was a canine unit and three other police officers and deputies here as well searching the area. Now, around SOTUS, deputies and police have blocked off various roads, hoping to catch the man or woman that killed Niles and Washburn. I spoke to Anthony Mancini, who made the original 911 call. He tells me he had just gotten home yesterday when he heard about what sounded like fireworks, he turned around and saw his neighbor across the street lying on the ground in his driveway, being stabbed and shot with the gun multiple times. Mancini tells me he was on the phone with police when the shooter found another target. I grabbed my phone, dialed 911. I turned to see the cop come in, and the person was shooting like this or like this. I couldn't tell which hand. And then turned shot the girl in the car and boom 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 the next thing i know the car come run, rolling out now mancini tells me the car continued to roll and it finally ended up right here it actually hit this white car behind me mancini says there actually was another there was a young child inside the car as well that washburn was ultimately shot and killed in However, local neighbors here, they ended up taking the child in while police did investigating. We have not had any official update from police yet, but make sure you stay with News 8 for updates. Mark. All right, Jeannie, thank you for the live report here at noon. Anyone with information about the suspect should call the Wayne County Sheriff's Office at 315-946-9711, or if you see anything suspicious, call 911 immediately. Also breaking here at noon, a new 